You also need to know how to ask. Many people told me the doctor is not helpful in their case, but in my case, the proctor is always helpful in all the tracks. And I went to so many times, I mean, I four times in Brussels and one time in queue. And all doctors were always helpful, but need to know how to ask. Okay, same when you send email or a question to the forum, people don't want to enter a question that uh, the very obvious that you can find if you just spend time Googling or go to the website. If you want to ask questions, make sure you've done your homework. Put the description clearly, put all the uh, debug out that you have done. It will help to speed up uh, for someone to answer your question. And also, you need to know how to ask questions to the doctor. I'm not a uh, speaker in English, so sometimes during my life, I found it difficult to understand uh, one or two words. It can be different meaning. According to his baby, he, he always tries to make it uh, clear and always try to remove all this dispute from the question. But sometimes, for one native spirit, it happens. So, usually, I ask the proctor, but I know how to ask. Proctor is there to provide the exam to make sure uh, everything is fair. Definitely, they will not give you answer, they will not give you direction to the answer if there are multiple solution to the answer, they will not tell you which one you should go. If you know how to ask, you might get some hint. That's all I can say. You need to understand the questions. Again, if it's unclear, the doctor is available for you to ask. Again, you need to know how to ask the questions. And you need to be a skeptical. You should not trust anyone. You should not trust any solution. Even if you see any configuration in this code website, you should just copy paste and expect it to work. You should trade, it, you should test it, you should try debug, you need to know how it works, you need to make sure it really works. You should not follow the workbook from the PCA preparation vendor and just paste the answer, for example, there is no point to that. You need to find the answer yourself. If you have to look at the answer, you should not trust it, you need to test it, and you should keep asking how if you change the questions a little bit, how if you modify something, the question so on, you need to be skeptical. And it's a mind. Uh, I took my first ECI 10 years ago in Brazil and I fell. Even after I spent at the time already 900 hours in lab, I failed my first time simply because I didn't believe that I would pass that day. I met people do my preparation and they told me that I was not ready. I was not in CA level. At that time, I had only less than years experience. They said there is no way that I would pass and so on. Those negative people should stay away from them. Okay, it's a mind game. If you have done so much, if you have prepared in the lab, you have practiced and so on, you should believe that you can pass. Okay. Don't trust anyone to tell you that you cannot pass or only a special one can pass. There are more than 22,000 people already passed. And you can be one as well. And last not least, enjoy the moment. 
it will be a tiring and long journey some people more than two years to pass PCA. some other just need three months but we extend three months with any sort of life and home to pass PCA. so really need to enjoy the moment you need support from those uh, love you from your family okay and obviously remember point number one in your reason follow your heart don't do this because you know everybody else is doing it you really need to know the reason and you really need to enjoy it there are many sacrifices you need to do so make sure you know it's worth it how did my work experience when i pass this is general things as i mentioned uh, i had only less than two years experience so it's true you can pass with less experience experience help definitely when i took my cie fp i was already in cisco and i have already eight nine years experience so for me i didn't need uh, it's much time to practice because uh, I already know the the all the MPLS and on. Experience help. If you don't have it, because you do take CCI, open opportunities for you to join a good company, then yes, there is no hope to pass the CCI. Once you pass CCI, then please go and find the, the real experience because that's what really matters. After putting routing switching, we find you handle all problems in work environment. All problems, uh, definitely not, but routing switching at the time really gave me a foundation. And also, uh, when I took my routing switch 10 years ago, it's a bit different. Uh, the troubleshooting section is on the same day, so it took two days and um, If I pass the first day, I can go to the second day morning. If I pass the second morning, I can go to the troubleshoot section. First attempt. I went all the way to the shooting section, but I fell to less uh, with about five uh, points less uh, than required to pass. The second time I went to Tokyo, uh, one month later, and I went all the way to the shooting section, and I passed with one hour uh, remaining in the Because at that time I knew I already reached 80, so I called the program and uh, Great my work and he told me pass he gave me my number. Based on my experience that at that time with two days exam uh, two days uh, left from us. If you can read really pass it, uh, it means you might not be the expert in networking, but at least you know the uh, how to do the configuration. Simple way to do the configuration for the subjects uh, after the exam as well as you know how to uh, to troubleshooting at least know how to do it in thematically that's something that i will share in the next few slides the multiple CA really required no not really but you need this one we have our reason why people want to take the second, third, and so on, right? I know some guys, I met a guy who passed uh, and he had on reason. 